Oh, it's another YouTube channel about video games. So like this and subscribe to me and put some shiny quarters in my pocket so I can get more video games. It's uh, Bill W. back with you again. Um, today for uh, Throwback Thursday, we're going to be going back to the Super Nintendo and we are going to be playing Boogerman, a pick and flick adventure. Uh, this was uh, originally released for the uh, Genesis back in 94, came over to the Super Nintendo in 95. Um, it is available on the Wii Virtual Console, um, so uh, it's one of those you can't still go out and get at this point. Um, don't really know a whole lot about this game other than you play a guy named Boogerman, and it's one of those I'm sure my kids will have a grand old time watching because boogers and farts and burps apparently. So let's go ahead and get started up in here. And Go down that toilet, apparently. It's a dark and stormy night at Professor Stinkbomb's lab, where a machine has been built to save the world from pollution by transexisting it to dimension excrement. Eccentric millionaire Snotty Ragsdale has taken a job at the lab to investigate its safety and find out exactly where the pollution is going. He has a bad feeling about this latest contraption. This night, his suspicions will come true. It's very ominous and disgusting, but it's a game called Boogerman. What do you expect? All right, looks like he is a janitor of some sort. Clean it up, and a um, bunch of nice hazardous materials in the background, and things exploding. That didn't look good. He ran to the bathroom and turns into Boogerman. All right, then. All right, let's see what we can do here. So, jump, booger flick, burp, move the screen up and down. Not really sure what these, apparently the plungers are something you, you want to get. And apparently when you hit things, they make fart noises. Okay, apparently up on the right there's a burp ometer. Not really sure what's up with that. Gathering plungers. Let's see. Let's see if there's. Okay. Okay, nothing to select on the screen there. Got some weird eyeball things here. This game is very strange. I'm very confused by it. But let's see what else we can... Oh, oh, you can jump and land on things. Okay, how do I use this toilet? I'm holding up. I'm trying to jump up. I'm not seeing much. But okay, we'll worry about that. And <coughs> Apparently you get hit once and die something, it would seem. Let's try and figure that out. Oh, I gotta start collecting my plungers all over again? Sheesh. Come on. Oh, come on, I jumped up on you a minute ago. Okay, I don't wait. I'm not sure. Okay, there we go. Oh, there's a cape or something up there. Apparently that just gives points. Because who needs power-ups when you have boogers, I guess? Seriously, I have no idea what any of this stuff does. Okay, then. Yeah, I really have no clue on most of this. <clears throat> but hey, toilets, boogers, what else do you need, I guess? And he farts every time. Okay. Where'd my boogers go? Okay, I'm apparently out of booger power. Not really sure how to gain more booger power. This could be problematic since... Okay, apparently you go through noses to get to places. Okay, there's a bouncy booger there. Alright, now we got some more booger power. Yeah. Okay, 
I'm still very, very confused here. It's just so very strange. Okay, apparently I stepped on something hidden behind a tree and died. Awesome. Yeah, let's go back here. At least this time we made it on the first jump there, I guess. Get more plungers. Get whatever that was. No, it didn't. Still not really sure how his health bar works. It seems like he his cape flashes when you get hit, but I'm not really sure what that does. Still not really sure what this does. Oh, apparently you can climb up the snot stream there, but it's very slippery because of course it is. Okay, you can flush down that toilet and bonus stage, I guess? I'm really not sure. Hmm. Oh, you can swing between booger ropes. That's that's lovely. Come on. Ah. Uh, this is not going as well as I had planned. Game over. Well, you know, we're just getting used to the feel, the feel, the controls, the disgustingness. That's a very strange password system. It's apparently a disgusting slice of pizza, maybe, an abominable slin, and a germ, maybe? I, I got no idea. Uh, still don't know when I get my fart power. Come on. All right, let's try this one more time and see if we can, you know, make it more than four feet into the game. Ah, fart, fart. Really? A snail? I got snailed. I got snailed again. Okay, so yeah, apparently my cape is now yellow instead of, uh red. Now it's back to red. Okay, so the capes do at least give you health. So that's something. Now let's try this special area here again and see what we can find. Alright. Oh, really? I like potty humor, but honestly, this seems like it may be a little bit too much. Especially with the difficulty here, because this is just not very forgiving. And the fact that you haven't, I haven't got any power-ups yet is really kind of annoying. I think I'm just going to ignore a lot of this stuff right now. Just power on through, see what I can find. It would be nice to, you know, make it past this first booger-filled stage and make it to the next booger-filled stage. Still not sure what's up with that toilet. Really? <sighs> oh, my donkeys. This is just brutal. Come on. Ah, oh, farts. Look at why it is some monsters fart and some don't. Based on the book, everybody farts or everybody poops or something. I mean, everybody does both, but apparently not in this world. Oh, really? Like, booger flick you. Oh! Really? He hit me twice there with, like, one hit. Not cool.
I'm glad this game is obscure enough that nobody's relying on me to do a speed run or a walkthrough or anything like that, other than to just watch me apparently die over and over and over again and have lots and lots and lots and lots of boogers flicked. Because I am not very good at this, apparently. Yeah, take that. Apparently, at least, what the? Okay, apparently I jumped on that and an outhouse came out of it. Just like in real life. Alright, through the nose we goes again. Let's get more boogers. It's just so strange. Alright, we got past that guy. Really? Again? Seriously, that is like the cheapest thing ever is to have something hiding behind, you know, something that's in the foreground that there's absolutely no way whatsoever to see. Oh, at least you get to save in the crapper there. So that's, uh, that's a plus. And it gives me hope that maybe I'm halfway through the level for once. I am just getting obliterated here. Alright, now that we've made it this far, let's see how far we can make it before we die. I'm terrified of trees at this point because, well, they seem to keep killing me. Okay, I apparently need to go up this way after I fail to make it there. Oh, I got another cape. What the? Apparently there was something hidden up there. I have no clue what it was, but we found it. So, awesome. Did I actually beat the level? That... Alright then. Guess those just give you bonus points. Flashing in Swamps level 2. We finally made it! Boingy, boingy, boingy. Plunger up there. I don't know that I care enough to try and get it since apparently all it is is points. For you youngins, it used to be. For you younger kids, it used to be the only way you could, you know, identify your self worth was via points because, you know, you could do that, take a picture of it, and that'd be about it. Or, you know, invite your friends over and be like, dude, look at how many points I got. You know, we didn't have achievements back in this day. All we had was guys who flicked boogers and got points. Um. Uh, it was a dark time in gaming. Well, you know, at least we had different colors, I guess? Come on! What was down there? Weird little frog looking thing. That's a bat. It's another bat. That's a plumber. Maybe they're... Yeah, that's a bat, and it killed me. Doesn't surprise me. All right, let's try this again. All right, come on. I just want to see if there's some kind of boss or something at the end of this, but who knows if we'll ever actually make it that far. Before I go insane, because those trees are just weird. Alright, we got the saving toilet. Ooh, more booger power. And I missed that. Got hit there. I am doing awesome here, aren't I? Still not sure what those bees do, but all right, what do we got here? Okay, apparently that's the end of the second part of the flatulent forest, or whatever it is I'm in. I'm honestly a little bit too terrified to care. Flatulent swamps. I'm sorry. 
Flagellant Forest seems like it would be a much better name. It's just, you're, it's obviously a forest. I haven't seen anything too swampy, and it's, you know, alliterative, and that just sounds better. Flagellant Forest. See, if you're going to do, like, swamp, it should be like the stanky swamp or something like that. So then, again, you got to go with the alliteration. you got to make it sound pleasing on the ears, unlike all my deaths. Then again, it's a game about farts and burps and boogers, so I don't know if they were necessarily going for pleasing on the ears. Who really knows? Plunger! Ooh, I should land on something and made it die. Sweet. Let's see what's down this toilet. again. Let's try this again. Oh. <laughs> why must the boogers be so slippery? And why must I just not be very good at this? Alright, we made it out of that then really didn't serve much purpose, I don't think. Other than to have him be teleported via toilet. Toilet port. I don't really know. Come on. Okay, we got a nose. Oh, that's a nose that sends you up instead of over. Different kind of nose. Who knows? I don't really know. Uh, nothing that way. At least I think I'm going the right direction. There's arrows somewhere. <sighs> Ooh, yeah, toilet. I mean, that means I'm only like halfway done with this level, which means that. Uh, ow. This is what happens when you... But the, now I finally got something that's the collectible of some sort? I have no idea. And with this game over, I think that my throwback, throwing back to Thursday here will come to an end because, oh, my donkeys, this is just hurting my brain. This was nowhere near as fun and adventurous as I was hoping a game called Boogerman would be, and yeah. But anyway, thanks for watching. Please uh, like the video, subscribe, all that fun stuff. And I will uh, catch you around the next one. Uh, next Throwback Thursday, I will try and find something that's just not this. I don't know what, but it will not be this.